I'm often asked by aspiring principals, you know, how do you show up as a school leader? There are so many constraints and there, you, you're often the person in the middle. Um, the board is putting pressure on one way and then the public, the students, the teachers are putting pressure on you on the, from the other side. So how do you show up? This is the topic of this week's coaching. Hi everyone, my name is Daphne Walbridge from the First Year Principal. I'm a superintendent of education and I help new and aspiring principals thrive as conscious leaders. So today I wanna to talk about authenticity and bringing your authentic self to work. You know, you're gonna be working with colleagues and everybody comes with their own set of values and their backgrounds and their experiences which shape who they are, and it also shapes their lens. It's really important to remember this because especially during your first years as a principal, your first year especially, you know, it's normal to doubt yourself and to question whether or not you have the authority to make certain decisions, um, whether these decisions are gonna be the right ones for your school, for your staff, for your students, for your community. And for that, to really tap into whether or not it's right or wrong. I've always found the best way to do this is to check in with yourself and to see whether you, the decision you're making aligns with who you are, your authentic self. So what does this look like? Well, it's about being true to your nature. It's about being able to work with people who are not like you and um, to collaborate with them and to not um, hide your light and to not refrain from speaking your truth. Oftentimes, when you start collaborating with people, uh, whether it be with your superintendent or with other principals or with your assistant principal or your assistant or your secretary or teachers, you know, you, you know, the first year you want to make sure that um, this is human nature, you want to be liked, you want to be respected. And often this means that um, human nature being what it is, the fear of being judged, you might keep things to yourself, you might not speak out when normally you would speak out. And as a result, what happens is that uh, you start feeling this inner friction, and you start feeling a malaise that something isn't right. Doing this once in a while seems harmless, but when you keep hiding your light and when you keep your voice dim and you don't speak out and you don't um, you know, show your values and, and, and express yourself fully, authentically, after a while, this is going to seep into your career, into your life, and you're gonna feel a certain toxicity it's not, you won't be able to continue. So it's really important that when, especially in the early stages, when, you know, our confidence is a little bit shaky because this is all new and you're learning, you have a steep learning curve, always tap into who you are. And how do you do this? Well, you go inward. And when you're, and, and when you're confronted with a situation where you have to decide whether or not to speak out, you go inward and you say, okay, how is this feeling right now if I'm keeping my voice small and I'm not speaking out and I'm not sharing and I'm not contributing authentically? How is this feeling? And then you can take a small step. This could be seat, sitting at a different place in the boardroom or in the staff room. Um, it could be preparing for a meeting before uh, coming into the meeting with a few key points you'd like to have heard, you know, speak out that way. So there are little steps you can take um, you can buddy up with somebody and say, listen, maybe another new principal or another new staff member saying, I'm going to present something. And if you hear, see that I'm not speaking out, you can, you know, you can have a signal between the two of you to remind each other to, hey, now's the time to speak your truth. So these are concrete steps you can take to make sure that from the start, you're showing up authentically. Because people want authenticity. They can smell when you're hiding something and when you're not being true to who you are. And the danger of that is that you won't be able to build trust as quickly as you would as if you showed up authentically. People will know something is off. It'll be with the energy level. It'll be something in your disposition that will signal to them that you're not true to yourself and they're not sure if they can trust you. 
Okay, so you might think that you're making yourself, you're, you're giving yourself this favor, doing yourself this favor by just staying in this comfort zone and hiding and being small, but really it's a, it's a huge disservice to yourself. And like I said, you can start small, baby steps. It could be, like I said, sitting in a different place, taking notes, preparing yourself before a meeting and having a buddy. These are the steps you can take to uh, make sure you show up authentically and you're true to who you are. And it'll just build from there. So I hope um, this has been of service. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Um, if this video resonated with you, uh, if it's addressing a fear you might have, especially in your first year as a principal, uh, as a school leader, and even if you're not a new principal and you uh, fear speaking out and, and showing up fully because you don't want to cause waves, um, hopefully these words will set in and you'll be able to take one step tomorrow to move forward uh, in showing up authentically. Thank you and uh, see you next week. Bye for now.